basics of nerve. So we have a lot of uh, uh, videos on nerve injury, individual foot drops, median nerve, brachial plexus, the clinical cases, management principles. But the, sometime in your exam, you're asked the basics of the nerve. So anybody exam going here? Ah, yes, sir. I am Dr. Sunil Kumar. I am exam going June to, uh, 22 session. Okay, Sunil. So on, on, where, where do you work in? Uh, sir, I am working in Gangaram Hospital. In Delhi? Yes, sir. Okay, Sunil. So uh, what are the difficulties you face for now basic? Do you know the few questions you come across? Uh, uh, no, sir. Uh, as of not now. Okay, so the normal standard question is uh, when you uh, basics of the nerve is that sometimes they can ask you to uh, draw a nerve and say a different part of it. So that's ma mainly to do with anatomy of the nerve. And then sometimes they can ask you how the action potentially generated, how the an antidromic and orthodromic current passes. And then what are the nerve? Uh, physiological study, both nerve conduction and EMG studies, what are the basics of it? You don't need the detail of it. And uh, also, what happened if the nerve is injured? So uh, changes after nerve injuries and then type of nerve injury classification. Uh, also, uh, when do you order a test? If you want to order a test after a nerve injury, what is the most appropriate test for nerve injury? What is the most appropriate test for carpal tunnel, cubital tunnel? So these are the type of questions we, we're going to discuss or trying to answer today. Is that all right? Y yes, sir. So the, the, these are, I find, uh, sometimes difficult students to understand this, okay? Yes. Sir. Okay, so the first thing is to, can you see my slides? Yes, sir. Okay, so first thing is the anatomy of the nerve. So if anybody asks you, what is the anatomy of the nerve? Nerve is, although the neuron has got cell body, exon, and dendrite, we'll discuss in a minute. But when you say nerve, you're talking about bundle of exons. Most of the nerve, because cell bodies are either in spinal cord or dorsal root ganglion. The most of the peripheral nerve you see, they are the bundle of the exons. So what happened is that each exon is surrounded by myelin sheath if it is myelinated. So not that every time uh, exon is myelinated, but most of the exon will be, you will see, will be myelinated. So you will have an exon and then you will have around it your uh, myelination. And that myelination uh, has got in between little gap there, which we call nodes of Ranvier. okay? And outside this myelination, each exon is then surrounded by a connective tissue called endoneurium. Yeah, you understand that? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is a basic. Uh, inside, this is an exon. This is myelin. And this is endoneurium. So this is the exon. This is myelin. And then endoneurium. Number of these uh, exons surrounded by this connective tissue. So endoneuron, perineuron, and epineuron are three connective tissue. Remember this, just three connective tissue in the nerve you need to remember, epi, peri, and endo. And rest are all exon with their myelinated sheet. So each exon with myelinated, with endoneuron, are clubbed together in a bundle, and that bundle is called a fascicle. And that fascicle is again surrounded by another connective tissue called perineurium. Can you see that perineurium? So you're not, yes, you got yes. endoneurium, you got perineurium. And then number of these fascicles or, uh, or perineurium surrounded bundles are held together by a third connective tissue, which is called epineurium. So what are the three connective tissue in the nerve? Uh, endoneurium, perineurium. And epidurium. Okay, so these are the main thing you need to remember in anatomy of the nerve. And what? How does the nerve get its blood supply? With these blood supply, can you see that? Yes, sir. Artery and and vasa nervosum they are called. And that's all you need to know in anatomy of the nerve. Then sometime they may ask you what is a basic unit of the nerve, and that basic unit you know is nerve is a neuron. A neuron has got dendrites. 
cell bodies. So these are the dendrites. This is cell bodies, then exon, and nerve consists only this. Most of the peripheral nerve will have this because cell bodies are right at the periphery, uh, either in spinal cord for uh, motor and dorsal root ganglion for the sensory. And most of the nerve will have just the bundles of exon surrounded by myelin. If it is myelinated, some are unmyelinated, small fibers. And each is surrounded by an endoneuron and they form a fascicle, which is surrounded by a second connective tissue called perineurium. And then perineurium is surrounded by or epineurium from outside, okay? And so this is the basic of uh, structure of a no. Let's see what. So what is the function of the dendrites? Dendrites get your incoming information. So any stimulus come, that is dendrite absorb that inflammation. Cell body integrate this information and exon transmit this impulse. So main role of the uh, exons or the peripheral nerve is transmit the impulses from cell body to distally. And that's called orthodromic transmission. Sometimes it can go other way around, but most of the transmission in nature is orthodromic. Uh, so if it goes other way, it's called antidromic. So this is what you need to remember. That's what are the functions of different uh, portion of the uh, of the. Uh, neuron. So uh, you can be asked, draw a neuron or draw a peripheral nerve. So remember what is to be drawn there.